Hey, this is Johnny Bean, and today I decided to put um, some of my music on a cassette. This cassette right here. It's been so long since I've heard any of uh, any of the stuff that I've done on a cassette, so I figured I would just uh, mix some uh, recent music onto it and just kind of see what it sounds like. Um, I used to use a, a Tascam 4-track uh, years ago for recording and mixing, and I would mix onto these things. And believe it or not, I think this cassette is actually left over from uh, years and years ago. It's brand new, I just opened it, um, and it, it still works. But um, I don't even know if they even make these things anymore. Who knows? But I have a cassette player right here. And so I figured I would listen to some of my music on there just to see what it sounds like. So let's let's see. kind of weird. It's coming out of that speaker right there. See, everything that I that I record, I do it digitally nowadays. And so it's very strange hearing it on a tape. This button just makes it sound worse. The Dolby? Dolby uh, noise reduction? Sounds horrible like that. It's pretty cool. It's one of those, um, what is it? Dynamic performance cassettes. It's not like the, uh, see, when I used to record on a 4-track, I would use the, um, what do you call it, the high bias cassettes, and this is not that, so it doesn't sound, sound as good, although the high bias ones, I remember, uh, they were good for, for, for master tapes, for using as masters, and these weren't, weren't so good for using as a master tape, but... I, I think, yeah, I remember now. What I would do is I would record on the high bias tapes and then mix it on the 4-track and then uh, what you would call burn, burning now, which, mixing down, I guess is what it was. I would mix down onto this, onto this kind of tape, which was good at the time, but now it just kind of sounds, it doesn't, it's not such a bad sound. Although it seems to have lost all the dy dynamics. Seems like everything is all at the same level. Pretty much. I don't know if I have a, a CD. I don't have my iPod on me. I left the iPod at home. But, um... I don't think I have a CD of this in here. I use these CDs that look like little records. Pretty cool. Yeah, and I don't even have a cassette player at home. So the way that I made this tape was I, um, I fed my computer into my 4-track and recorded uh, the sound from the 4-track 
uh, from the from the from the uh, what was coming out of the computer. So these are all these are all MP3s. This is all recent music. I mean, this some of this, this like this. This is all stuff that's online already, which you can you can hear over at JohnnyBean.com. Well, that's pretty cool. See, usually I would use this cassette. I would plug it in. And this would go to my iPod. It's been a long time since I've played an actual cassette in here. Long time. Anyway. Oh, that's the one thing I don't miss is rewinding and forwarding. Ah, it takes that took forever, didn't it? Way too long. And listen to that noise. Why does it make so much noise when it's doing that? And what was that? MP3s don't make those noises when you're rewinding them. crazy. Now that's something I don't miss at all, is that sound. <laughs> oh, there we go, look at that. Let's see. It does sound warmer on tape. Although, like I said, all the dynamics are kind of missing. And it has that nice hiss sound. Although, I guess that's why you would push this, huh? To get rid of the hiss, the noise. So it just sounds horrible. Maybe if you do that and you mess with the EQ. No, it just brings the hiss right back. It doesn't help. See what another one sounds like. Oh, it takes forever, doesn't it? This is a tune that I haven't yet released yet. Doesn't sound so bad. It's not that bad, really. I don't miss using cassettes at all. Leading from the nose. Damn it, the fishy Johnny Bean bitches about it. No, Johnny doesn't bitch about it. What was that? Go to our website, philhenryshow.com, for live streaming audio and video. Well, that was weird. What's that doing on there? Uh -huh. 
Here's another song that's not yet released. Although this was just a, a working demo of it. And that's only one part of the song. And this kid has been carrying tons of boxes into this place. I'm at the post office. He's just going in and out of the place with boxes after box. He leaves his car open too. Anyway. That sounds pretty good on here. Man, how many boxes does this kid have? Anyway, hope this video wasn't too boring. <clears throat> Man, there he goes again. Box after box. Anyway. There's my little, uh... Man, forwarding took forever. Alright, anyway. That was fun. Here comes that kid again. How many more boxes does he have in this car? That kid doesn't even look old enough to drive. Oh, good, he's not. All right, well, I hope uh, this video wasn't too boring. It's just me, basically. Uh, well, you know what it was. I don't have to explain it. But uh, that's my video about cassettes in the year 2010 and why we don't use them anymore. Because they suck. And uh, anyway, all right. Later.